Okay. I got a very important question out there for all you me too hashtag me too uh, movement people men and women I want to ask you a question um, okay so you want to assume that any allegation brought against a man of raping, sexual assault, sexual misconduct, anything of that nature. Any allegation brought against a man, uh, corroborated or not, proof or not, you want it to be believed over anything. And you want him to be guilty until he can prove himself innocent. Right? That's what you want, right? You want... You want to be able to say shit about some dude and put him through the ringer with no proof, no nothing, and and be believed and start a big fuss and a news frenzy and and you know be willing to let their lives be destroyed until they can go to a trial and prove themselves innocent. Which is not the way our legal justice system is supposed to work, constitutional-wise. You're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, you know? And, uh, if you're so into freaking the Constitution that all men are created equal and, uh, you know, the right to free speech, you know, you want your constitutional rights... You're dead set on having those. Those better be given to you. You believe in the Constitution then, but then you think it's a load of crap when it comes to innocent until proven guilty. I got a question for every one of you. And think about it. And I don't, you know, you ain't gonna answer me. I ain't gonna hear your answer. But you think about it and answer it truthfully to yourself. Are you willing to put your father, your brother, your male cousin, your husband, or your son in that position? It's, it's okay for, for men, for any allegation brought against a man to be believed beyond a reasonable shadow of, shadow of a doubt before any proof is brought forward. An allegation, an allegation stands and you can make the allegation, have it in the news, call your local media, do a big story on it, get on camera, cry on demand, and let their lives be put through hell and their kids be put through hell and their significant other be put through hell until they can prove themselves innocent that's what you want that's what that's what y'all are claiming and fighting especially with this Christine Ford crap me too movement give me a break give me a break get real so anyways, that's how you want it. So I'm asking, if your father, your husband, your brother, or your son is accused of raping a woman, he has, uh, you know, your husband might work with a woman and uh, he says, wow, you, you look nice today. You look really pretty. That's a nice outfit. Well, the way these women are, these feminazis and all this shit today, she'd probably claim sexual harassment. You know, you can't compliment a woman no more. I mean, it's sexual harassment. It's ridiculous. But, okay, so for instance, say, say your dad at work has known this woman, you know, for a while, and she gets a haircut, or she's got a nice outfit, or she looks nice and professional. 
and he says, hey, so-and-so, you look nice today. Just letting you know, you know, thumbs up, you're doing good. And she don't like it. She takes it the wrong way. And she puts out a formal complaint against him and says that she felt threatened and he sexually harassed her. And he goes, gets, gets arrested. She calls the news. They do a huge story on it. They come to your house and they want to interview you and your family and talk about your dad and dig up his past and believe this woman and completely smear your father's name and put him through hell and you know you know that he's not like that you know he's not like that but are you going to stand by your movement then too and let it ride with your dad if you have a brother you got a brother you know in college he's got a girlfriend she turns out psycho because all these ch chicks these days are freaking out their minds so he dumps her and she files a complaint with the school board that he raped her goes to the police says he raped her starts telling everyone he raped her goes on social media he raped her all of a sudden your brother is a rapist and he's a bad guy and he needs that this woman needs justice she needs to be believed because she said so and and he's got to he's guilty he's completely guilty until he can prove himself innocent. But until that time comes, he's gonna be painted all over Facebook and Twitter and Instagram or whatever all those things are. He's gonna be plat his face plastered all over the place, talked about, degraded, reputation ruined, could possibly lose a scholarship to college that he might have, you know, might be kicked off the team, whatever, you know anything like that w would that be okay with you w would you let that ride would you stand by your movement then if it was your brother and you know you know your brother did not rape this chick you know this chick is out of her mind you yourself told him you've got you gotta let her go man it's like she's crazy she's crazy but your logic and what you're screaming and making a fuss about says, says that he is that nasty, awful, horrible person. Are you going to stand by your movement then? You going to be out there with picket signs outside the courthouse during his trial? Signs saying... I matter. Me too. He's guilty. You gotta believe her. You gotta believe her. He's guilty. Who cares what he says? Condemn him. Send him to jail. For life. You gonna say that if it's your own brother? And you know he's innocent? It's just a question, you know? Your, uh, your husband. You know, your husband gets accused. Same thing. You know? You gonna be fighting for your movement then, too? You know, your, your, like, you know, your own father. Or, you know, again, say you have another brother. And he, he, he da he's dating a girl. And she thinks he cheated on him, so she decides she's going to ruin his life and claim rape. Because I tell you what, a, a huge, huge percentage of rape cases 
of assaults go unreported. You know why? Because the victim is scared. They don't want to come forward. And they don't want people to know. They feel ashamed. They feel dirty. And they don't want to relive that incident. And the ones that do come forward, that it actually happened to, you know, they're, they're, you know, they got some courage. I wouldn't call them brave, you know, for, for, for telling people what's going on, but it takes courage to do that. You know, but being brave is, is different. Our soldiers are brave. Our, our servicemen who are overseas right now fighting for your rights and your right to act like uh, act like an imbecile our servicemen over there fighting for that they're brave I'm not too huge on the police you know but policemen they're brave they're going out there knowing that they could get shot any for it you know just because been plastered that police are bad and horrible so they're just getting shot up you know but more than anything our military members they're brave that's brave coming forward saying you're raped takes take some courage take some guts but it ain't brave and this Kavanaugh or this, this Christine whatever her name is she's not brave first of all she's lying Second of all, she's not brave. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to. I just wanted to ask, and maybe someone could comment. Let me know what you think. If it were, if it were your dad or your brother, or your cousin or your uncle, they got accused of something ludicrous that you know is not true. Would you still have picket signs outside your house? Or it cost him and his, uh, call, uh, cost him? Or threaten, let your friends threaten your family? No, I highly doubt it. Because you have no true morals and no true conviction. You want one thing your way. And and it to work your way. And if, if it gets flip-flopped around on you, then nah. nah. Anyways. I just wanted to ask that question because this whole Me Too movement makes me sick. This whole Christine Blasey Ford bullshit makes me sick. Makes me sick. And you know, uh, all of our veterans from World War One on, up to our current current military active military men, they're brave and they're out there fighting for you to act like this. Have some respect. Have some respect for yourself, first of all. Have some respect for other human beings. And get your head out your rear end. And, and you know, I can't, I can't even say, say anymore. I'm at a loss for words. But anyways, everyone out there, I love you, all my friends, and all that, my man, and my girlfriend, Lisa, and, uh, yeah. So everyone have a good day. <laughs>